few here, and I do know how to share them now, so I think I'm sharing them now on the links of the show. So, bully for me. Starting here, we've got, um, oh, this is from Daily Penn. So, the Daily Pennsylvanian, uh, we talk about Penn every day because, you know, my former boss, Shamin, went to Penn twice, graduated at the top of his class. Um, Penn, Penn has a huge endowment. We looked at their endowment the other day, right? So Penn's endowment is about 21 billion with a B dollars. Uh, that's their piggy bank, essentially, if you have to think about it in a way, it's the piggy bank. So Penn can afford to pay whatever the fuck they, these workers feel that they deserve, right? Uh, all right. But great story here. 300 rally goers for the graduate student worker push to get unionized uh, with UAW. So we love that. Um, I, I, you know, I, they went to sign, they went to give a letter, uh, with 500 signatures to president Liz McGill and the provost. Again, if you don't know what a provost is, the provost is like the vice president of a college, sort of the chief operating officer of a college, uh, runs the day to day shit. Um, so very, very disappointing, you know, according to Vincente, a former member of local 644 union, um, uh, they were too cowardly to come out themselves. Uh, what a shame. Uh, tired of these Ivy League presidents who hate unions. Um, irritates me to no end, right? I'm trying to find, you know, of course, you can't search anything on Instagram. Uh, Instagram is junk like that. But I wanted, there was a clip of Martha Pollitt, the president of Cornell. Um, it's kind of a union buster. And I wish that I could find um, that post. I'm trying to find that. But this is a true story, right? Um, these pen workers, you know, they're telling you what they want and they deserve it. So you got to stand up for him. I love this video too. So take a listen to this. Formed on the fourth grade level. Seventh grade English teacher here. Um, I teach in Northern Houston and I teach at one of the more affluent schools. Uh, when I tell you that these babies cannot read, they cannot write, and they cannot comprehend, I'm not being funny. I'm being dead serious. It, it doesn't exist. I have kids constantly asking me, how do I spell window? How do I spell important? How do I spell though? And they be serious. They're dead serious. I could ask them, who is the main character of your story? The story of, of four paragraph story we just read. Can't tell you. They don't know. They don't know. They don't know. It took us four weeks, four weeks to get through how to answer a question in a complete sentence. Um. We talk about higher education all the time on the show, and that post scared the life out of me, right? Um, I can't believe that the kids are so ignorant, uh, terrifying. So. Um, finally found this video, so hold tight. We're going to share this now. Um, terrifying. You know, we talk about this, that your kids need to get educated. I don't know what to tell you. Terrifying. Loud out here at all, period. End of story. Also, did I hear you correctly? The police are on their way. Yes, they are. Got a cafe in here. You're taking business away from them? So the problem is that we're taking business. I don't know, the but that's also part of it. You think so that's why the complaint? Maybe it could be. Sure. I can't speculate. Okay. Could you confirm yeah. that the complaint did come from Cornell Dining? So specifically, yes, it had something to do with brands. Uh, you saw at the very beginning of this clip, because that's really what matters. Um, you saw Martha Pollock, president Cornell University. Um, Union busting. We got to move that up to the top. I'm glad I found that again. But true story, Martha is a union buster. Disgusting behavior from Martha Pollock. Uh, cannot believe 
cannot believe that they let her look at this. Look at this. Absolutely not. And trying to blame Cornell Dining Lens. How dare you? I was a member of the Cornell Dining Committee for numerous years. I worked for Cornell Dining. Um, so just terrible to see Martha like that. And then again, just from culture strike, that just terrified me with the children. It's important that your children get educated. That's why we talk about organizing, but we also talk about elite education on this program every morning. Your children cannot afford to be this ridiculously dumb. I, I Nope. No and no. It's got to change now, quickly. So don't know what to tell you. A few bits and bites from Instagram. Uh, we love that there. 